Hey guys, it's Faces Sins, and we are back with more Tengoku Struggle, continuing along the common route, and apparently we added a little plant to our little family shelf. Isn't that adorable? Now we're all represented here. Anyway, we noticed that at the end of the last part because Goemon's noticing it now, so. Oh, there's something new here. <laughs> a moss ball. I get so happy knowing she likes flowers and foliage. I'm looking forward to working with you, our bold Lord Hell Guardian. Even now, I love you. See, that is like, you're trying to tell me that is unnecessary. Cheers with Hell Cider. That was first seven. Oh, okay. Huh, it says select first seven and skip until you're able to select a character. Like, okay, maybe technically in the eight. What? Oh, oh, now we select a character. I was like, why wouldn't you just start at first eight? I guess because you select a character before you get into eight. That answers that question right now. The tyrannical old navy. The Benton biting kid. What does it say? Oh, I can't read that. Is you list? What is that? Looks like a U L C I. What? What the hell does that spell? That's not a word. Anyway. So anyway. I want to see, we're obviously going to, hold on a second. But see what I don't like. Um, does it say anything on him? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say what he's, like his thing. But anyway, um, what I don't like, what I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Don't tell me that. Like, I feel like it was kind of fairly obvious that you knew going on in your past life just based on the opening movie okay and every once in a while when you're remembering things he kind of has that little like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, face on okay like oh, oh I, don't, I don't know anything um but i like I, I prefer the more mystery like you know as opposed to him being like even now i love you stop it i'm gonna fall in love with someone else oh don't do it to me what the hell? You know what I mean? Oh, stop. Rude game. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It hurts me a little. Anyway, we are going to start Kikunosuke. So. Stage Kikunosuke, are you ready to start? Are you ready to rumble? Yes. Stage Kikunosuke. Well, that's why there is no, like, chapter eight. So that makes sense. Makes sense. We could have absolutely read that last line at the end of the last part and start, but whatever. But anyway. Oh, I can't. Okay. I can't read that and I can't lean for Nickname. Poochie. No, Poochie. Assigned to Black Rope Hell. Date of death, May 20th, 1796. Jesus. Height, 170 centimeters. Weight, 64 kilograms. Sins, thievery, hobbies, video games. Special skills, video games. Strengths, how my five senses are so sensitive. Honestly, I do think that that's very valid strength. And we've seen it. Uh, weaknesses, how I'm quick to start fighting. Impression of the Hell Guardian. Women cry so fast. Quests for the Hell Guardian. Don't cry. Don't threaten. Don't command. Oh, she's reading that aloud. Don't cry. Don't threaten. Don't command. This almost sounds like a motto. Nice. I think these are perfectly reasonable things to achieve. I don't want to have to threaten or command anyone. I'm sorry. I was being a child. It was a bit cold at first, but he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a few years younger than us, so yeah, he's a good boy, but also he's a dog, so that's funnier. If we capture the escapees, I'll be able to get a soul preservation certificate. Father and Sensei Nona will approve of me, and I won't have to worry about becoming a transient. Two birds with one stone. I just have to keep moving forward. 
we might finally get choices. All right, I'm heading out to find a zombie. There's still rice in the cooker. Eat all you want. A cafe au lait full of milk, a salad with nuts, chicken, and a mountain of vegetables. Ikenosuke gobbled down six onigiri before standing up. Listen, okay? You guys better not get in the way, all right? I have to be the one to bring a zombie back to hell. Promise, okay? Don't go behind my back to capture a threatener. Got it? Lay a finger on her and I'll maul you. What a wonderful bond between those siblings. Is Kiko okay on his own? I hope he's not the one to get captured and used as bait. Should we follow him? Let's see how it goes. I feel like we should trust him, so let's see how it goes as the trusting. Like, should we follow him as I don't trust that idiot? Okay. Valid, but also, like, we should just... Let's see how it goes before we distrust him. You know what I mean? We've got to have faith in him, okay? That's part of it. So I feel like let's see how it goes is the have faith in him. Let's see how it goes. Boop. Oh, look, I got a little stamp of approval. Good for us. Let's see how it goes today. I'm a bit worried about her, but I don't think Azami will listen to Kikonosuke so easily. I can't imagine something would happen in just the next few days. He doesn't talk much about his sister, but I wonder if they were separated at birth. I just pretend I'm dead already, brother. But she's honest and straightforward when she talks to me. Which means Kiku's the only one she hates. Yeah, the other day it felt like she didn't pay that much attention to anyone other than Kiku. Right, she didn't seem violent toward any of us. A little sister who hates her brother, huh? Sounds pretty fun. You shouldn't find this entertaining. Also, going back to the, you know, let's see how it goes, trusting him. And that goes back to with uh, Hari being like, I can spy on him. And I'm like, I don't feel like that's a good use of our trust. That that shows that we don't trust them. We should be like, no, I need to trust them to tell me the things they need to tell me, not force it out of them by spying on them. So, you know, I feel like the whole thing when it's like you need to trust each other is like, OK, well, some of those choices are going to be like, what's the trusty choice? You know? Well, let's just see what kind of mood he's in when he comes back home tonight. I'll be heading out until then. I'll get intel on those escapees while I'm out shopping. Oh, me too. Right, let's meet back tonight. Chief! Chief! May I accompany you today, meow? Oh. I made my greetings to the cats in the area, so I wish to be of help to you now, Chief. Meow. That's fine. I don't think anything dangerous is about to happen today. Thank you. I'll do my best. Meow. We went out to the streets, and after walking for a short while, I really do feel like... I mean, like... Mouse voice. I don't know what it actually sounds like, but I'm just saying this works, right? But... One of these days, we gotta have a cutesy little character who sounds like they would have the most annoying voice ever, and just, Chief, so actually, there's something. There's something I've been wanting to ask you, Meow. Like, we really, really should have done that, because that would have been funny as fuck. But we're too far in now. But, like, say Meow every time. So many things wrong with that, but that's what makes it funny. Anyway. Chief! Chief, so actually... Here's something I've been wanting to ask you, Meow. Meow. We, or we could just... We do his voice! Meow. Meow. <laughs> Why did your meows sound so weird? Uh. Why are you being so shy all of a sudden? Thomas stopped and looked up at me meekly. Th there's... Somewhere I'd like to go, Meow. Where's that? I... I... I want to try to go to Hell Mansion with you, Chief. Meow! No. Meow! That was so quick! We didn't come to the human realm for fun. You know that, Tama. He wants to go to an amusement park with us. Are you trying to take us on a date, cat? That's so weird. No, sir. Did you want to come with me just to go play somewhere? No, meow! Well, we can't go anyway. Just a little bit. Only an hour. No means no. There are so many people 
people there, and we're bound to come across some information. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find something there, meow. On artist. Do you want to go that badly? At least she didn't fall for it. She's like, you really want to go that badly that you're going to bring this bullshit up? You're going to try that bullshit on me. All right. I do, meow. I did say I wanted to go as a guest next time, so I can't exactly judge Tama for wanting to go. Oh, we're going to meet Jester Boy. And we might even get some intel. Jester Boy. Okay, just for a little bit. Yes! You know what? Jester boy. <laughs> you were waiting for it. All right, Tama, we're here. Meow! Finally, I'm here at Hell Mansion with Chief! You wanted to come here that badly? Of course! For two people to come to a theme park makes it feel like a day. Mommy, that big cat's standing and talking. That's just a really nice doll. You know cats can't speak. Aw, oh, darn. Meow! Those uneducated humans! I'm a cat respectable hell guardian in training assigned to Enma Palace, meow! There are just humans who don't know, Tama. Are any humans bullying you? I'm okay, meow. I'll be mindful, meow. Glad to hear it. Okay, so as far as rides we can go on, I think we're a little limited due to your size. Oh, right, let's do that one. Oh my god, please go on the fucking teacups. Go on the Goemon teacups. The Goemon sees you. Yeah, we're going on the. I love it. He's gonna be like, you went on the cauldron ride. <laughs> Goemon. Wait, this features Lord Taro. Yeah, his name's on it. It's amazing. Meow. I see. I didn't realize the name Goemon Ishikawa was so famous. Meow. Ah, I shouldn't be at all over this. Chief. They're all villains, including him, Meow. We absolutely mustn't trust them, Meow. <laughs> sure. Take me seriously. <laughs> I couldn't if I did that. It would hurt my voice a hell of a lot less. Take me seriously. But also, take me seriously is like, not with a voice like that. Ah, so fun to be with Chief on a dick. Tama, are you hungry? How about we eat something over there? See, I told you. He wanted to go here because it's a date thing. Let's do that. I'd like to eat the hell pizza. He's saying, you with the long hair. Is it Jester Boy? Huh? Are you talking to me? I turned around. Jester Boy? No. No, just... Just some random dude. I'm sorry, but if you're telling me I'm beautiful... I don't care. You've got glasses. But, like, why do we have another dude with his... Why are there so many fucking side characters? Also, you can't, like... He's kind of hot. You got a vest on. And, like, glasses. But, like, um... Are you gonna be shady? Probably. Whoa! Your face looks great, too! What a beauty! Yeah, see, right there. Just a little shady right there. He's both friendly and sketchy. <laughs> That's it! That's perfect! He's hot and sketchy. Who is this man? He's a human, right? Another one! Even in the human realm, these lowlives and fiends target chief, meow. A man like this will certainly be one of the ones I'd bite to pieces after he dies, meow. Hey, you don't have to be so scared. You don't have to be suspicious of me. That's really what someone would say when you do have to be suspicious of them, though. Here, my card. Hare Sato. Toru. He's a manager. Mm -hmm. He grinned as he handed me his business card. Meow! I thought Tom had reached out to take the card, but realized he only meant to tear it to pieces with his sharp claws. Ugh. We're in a hurry, so if you'll excuse us... Wait! He grabbed me suddenly on my shoulder, causing a chill to run across my body. Don't touch me! I threw his hand off me and glared at him. Whoa, is that a real whip? Are you a cosplayer? We don't have a dominatrix on our team, so this works. Uh, come on, let's chat some more. No means nobody, Jesus. She whipped out a fucking whip on you. What? You are the balls on this man. You gotta appreciate it a little bit. Meow! Why, you! This cat's so well made. 
Robot animals move just like the real thing these days, huh? Chief, may I bite this man to pieces right here and now? Meow. Control yourself, Tama. Tama's fur was standing on end from anger. I gently stroked his head to calm him down. I have no business with you. Please leave. You've got the act down perfectly. So many guys are gonna get one or want to get are gonna want to get whipped by you. You'll sell for sure. That really sounds like you're gonna kidnap me and sell me. This man is so irritating. I don't want to start a commotion, but I'm just wasting time at this point. As I was weighing my options. We've seen him before, but I can't remember why. When did we see him? I remember seeing him. But when? Because he's not... Anyway. Ikari, let her go. Oh, what? Oh, wasn't he here in the park or something? I don't remember. Obviously, he's here in the park, but... Oh, what? You know this girl, Tori, dear. Is it your girlfriend? Does he know Shiroku? Uh, meow. Oh, we're acquainted. She's the daughter of King Enma, so you won't be signing her. Please let her go. King Enma's daughter? The real thing. Wait, you're from hell? But you don't have anything that marks that you are, do you? There are exceptions to that rule. In any case, she's not available for your business. I don't remember why we know him. I can't remember. But I do remember seeing him, because remember I like the little earring that looks like the little My Little Pony pinata thing going on. But why can't I remember him? See, like, sometimes the characters pop up, like, once, and then not for a while, and, like... Aw, oh, come on! Why didn't you say anything? And here I was so happy to find another beauty! Oh, but I will leave this with you. He hands out another business card and forces it into my hand. The daughter of King Enma would be nice, too. I mean, I am producing... Oh. Aza... Azami, but Azamin. Azamin? Azamin? Whatever, however these... Look, it's gonna be said two different ways, because Azami just flows off the tongue nicer, but then you can't say Azamin. Well, Aza Azamin. Yeah, that works. But anyway. I mean, I am producing a Azamin now, right now, but... <sighs> anyway. It just didn't flow right. Maybe you could start a group with her! Call me if you feel up to it. Huh? What? This man actually knows a zombie? Okay, Tori, let's catch up for drinks soon. He keeps calling him Tori. After the fishy guy left, Shiroku bowed to me. I sincerely apologize for letting you experience something so upsetting. It's okay, nothing for you to apologize for. It is, though. And my role is to protect the safety of those from hell. You said you were on security around here, right, Shiroku? Why do you know that man? Oh, about that. Shiroku gives a big shrug and begins talking with an awkward smile on his face. That man is Satoru Ikari. He works at a talent agency in the human realm. Whenever he sees a girl he likes, he calls out to them. Doesn't matter if they're human or from hell. I should have let Tama bite him. Some girls are creeped out by him, so as I've begun to mediate in those situations, we've become rather familiar with each other. Shiroku has his own troubles, I see. I see, so that's how you know him. He's forceful, but he isn't a bad person. A at the very least, he doesn't have a sentence. But I'm sure he would startle anyone being that aggressive. Huh. Wait, then did Azami come to know that man the same way? You mean that Azami? The one who joined Sh uh, Shinobikini? You know of her? Of course I do. She's another model prisoner, just like myself. But she seems like a different person on her streams now. She acts so differently than that girl I knew. Different person. Hmm. That makes it a little sus. I thought we were going to run into Jester Boy. Oh, welcome, Hachan! Sorry to drop in unannounced. Were you about to head out somewhere? The opposite. I just came back from a delivery. Uh, are you free to chat? What? Wait, ahem. <clears throat> What's wrong? I look around just in case, then ask in a whisper. Do you know about Azami Oshichi, the girl from the streams? Azami, of course. I mean, she was a former mo model pr 
former model prisoner, just like me. When she was in hell, what was she like? She scanned the room. It's bad, huh? Then she's with the escapees. Yeah, we don't know why she's with them. Can you tell me what you know about her? Well, I don't know her that much. I mean, she never talked at all. It's like Shiroku said. She and I died around the same time during the Edo period. We came across each other time to time. Other from time to time because of that. But she was quiet. Or rather, it was like she was afraid to talk. Wasn't Ikonosuke the one who says liars get their tongues ripped out? Maybe his sister got her tongue ripped out. I did worry about her and felt at one point that I wanted to get to know her better. She was just so defensive and kept to herself. In the end, we never really talked. Okay, maybe not. Then out of the blue, she's just such a public figure. I have no idea what's going on with her. See, thanks. Sorry to trouble you during work. But if Shinobikni has the magic power to heal Jester Boy, right? Um, and all this other stuff. Whatever happened to Azami, right? Like, she could have fixed it. You know? So she's granting wishes. That's how she's getting people on her side. It's totally fine. I'll come by to eat another time. Later, then. Yeah, later. And that's the story, Tama. Weird how they said the exact same thing. I don't know about the man, but I know Lord Oshichi isn't one to lie. Quiet and afraid. It's like they're talking about a whole different person. I wonder what happened with her. Suddenly, a single calico cat ran toward us. Meow! 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 Huh? That girl's at the well? Tama, are you talking about a zombie? Yeah, meow! I asked the cats to let me know whenever they see anything suspicious, meow! Thank you. Let's go. Come on. Why are you trying to understand what I'm saying? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know you. Oh, I assumed it wouldn't work out. I couldn't help but let out a sigh when Azami quickly turned around to face me. Sis! Hello! I knew it was you because I heard your footsteps. Hello. He's definitely upset. But please understand, I didn't mean to get in the way, Kikunosuke. Sis, please help me. This strange man keeps harassing me. I don't know him. Zami. There's no way I could convince her to listen, but I can't treat him like a stranger either. Listen, Azami. I won't be going back to hell, just so you know. This is what it feels like to be helpless. You really like that uniform, don't you, Azami? Yeah, I love it. It's so cute, right? Yes, it's very cute. Why don't we wear a matching one, sis? That's not what I want to talk about. There's nothing wrong with what I'm trying to talk about, though. I, I want to wear cute clothes and eat a bunch of cute sweets. And I want to date some cool guys. Look at her blushing. Girl, you're like 12. Date? Like, you're in middle school! I just want to live a normal and cute life. Huh. Her voice sounded so dark just now. Yeah, there really are so many things that are cute in the human realm, aren't there? But what you're doing here is escaping confinement. You can't just ignore that. I'm not afraid of being punished for that. Zami, just listen! calling me. I gotta go. Hey! Sis, let's catch up again soon. Damn it! Ikonosuke no longer tried to chase after her and simply stood there, shaking in his anger. Why are you here? I told you not to interfere! Tama can talk to the cats here, and they told us there was something that seemed dangerous. Dangerous? What, me talking to my sister? Did you think we'd try to kill each other? I don't, but, what I, but I was just worried. Who? A stranger like you? You're a friend, Kikonosuke, and even Azami is an acquaintance of mine. Kikonosuke, how about we go back for today? Let's talk to the others about what to do. Okay. Good 
It's like, I know you want to bring her back, but maybe like he's now doing what we were doing. He's afraid to ask for help, but... All right, everyone. Please report your results from today. With cups of coffee that go on port in all of our hands, we began, to, we began speaking in turn. Ayona and I watched over Kumonoi Temple, but nothing strange was going on. It was quiet. A lot of normal people were coming in and out, and we didn't see traces of the criminals at all. I followed Jack, but there wasn't anything particular, su particularly suspicious about what he was doing. Except for existing. He's a little sus just existing. What about you, my lady? I couldn't help but glance at Kikonosuke and reflex to his question. Why are you looking at me? You hear something about a zombie that should worry me? Well, it's not something we should worry about. Although I was curious about what I heard, our job is to bring a zombie back to hell. So, I talked with Shiroku and Oshichi today. I asked about what a zombie was like back in hell. Oh, you ran into him again today. Hmm, there's someone you know here in the human realm, Goemon. Oh, that's true, we were with Goemon when we ran into him. We ran into an old friend of mine. He's a model prisoner, too. Oh, wow, what a coincidence. His name's Shiroku, Shiroku Natori. It seems like he's on security patrol around here. And you should introduce yourself if you see him. Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna know a guy named Shiroku when I see him. But you know what I mean? Shiroku, got it. So, coming back to Izami, I told everyone what I heard from the two, and Kikonosuke didn't seem surprised. That's true, because he was uh, working at Hell Mansion or whatever when we were there with Goemon, and that's how it- yeah, okay, okay. Right. Quiet and scared. Yeah, I thought as much. Kikonosuke brushed- Brushed up his bangs in agitation. Hey, Kiku. You know what's going on with her, right? I know you can't ignore the fact that she's siding with the enemy. I don't want to pry into every little detail or get involved in family problems. Um, but if there's something you can talk about, won't you let us know? Another cafe au lait. Ice this time. Although Kikonosuke acted calm, no one could say anything else. Every one of us felt a bit awkward while Goemon was preparing the coffee. Here. Thanks. Ikonosuke stared at his cup. We all stayed quiet and waited. There isn't much I can talk about, and when little I do know isn't exactly pleasant. I'm sure you'll all find it pretty disturbing. You okay with that? It's fine. We're all friends here. Also, we all had disturbing deaths and we've been tortured in hell, so... I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, for us. I feel like that's a warning for you, the player. Uh, me, the player, and you, the listener. Whatever. Uh, that, for us, not for them. Because, to be fair, everybody here has been tortured in hell and has seen some pretty fucked up shit, so I'm not really sure that... We'll be like, yeah, that sounds like Tuesday. You know? The rest of us are gonna be like, ah! So. Goemon swiftly answered his difficult question. His frankness can be a lifesaver sometimes. They can turn into a wolf, right? Well, any normal person would be surprised at that. So her parents were killed because people claimed they brought disaster to her village. Okay, so that is a power that existed for you when you were alive. That's not like a death desire thing. That's interesting. Bird, I'm going to need you to simmer down. You can be very feisty and you're running all over. And your little dagger toes, when you're, like, running across my chest, it's not funny, don't like it. Also, I'm gonna keep your beak. You bite me, I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna hold on to it! Love you. You're so sick. Alright, simmer down. Anyway. But it's not like we did anything. The zombie and I were living our lives like normal. We never attacked or hurt anyone. But they called us... Unnatural. Her parents were cornered at the edge of a cliff by the people of the village, and they were forced to jump off right in front of our eyes. That's pretty fucked up. I couldn't help but look away from him, and I was supposed to be a hell guardian. After that, Azami and I were locked away in a shed outside the village. It was surrounded by a tall wooden fence, too. Pretty funny. Just so you know, they didn't let us stay alive because they thought it was too cruel to kill children or anything. This crazy nobleman was saying if there were siblings who could turn into wolves to make them breed and make offspring. Okay, that's... Oh, uh, nope, no, nope, all right, nope, they were right. They were right for warning us. That is disgusting. That is disturbing. Nope, 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 nope. 
Nope. What? Wait. It's the, like, you're like, the, they made our parents jump off a cliff. You're like, oh, that's kind of sad. And then, like, and then this guy was like, lock them up so they fuck each other. Ew. That took a turn. Shit. Uh-uh. Uh, I'm pretty sure out of all the, you know what? I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. Listen, I was like, look, it's a typical Tuesday for us in hell. We've seen all, we've seen everything. No, even in hell, that was never one of the punishments. It was like, ah, make you fuck your sibling. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that was never a punishment. Even hell is like there was line, there were lines, and that is over it. Jesus, shit. Hell's like even we wouldn't come up with disturbing fucking shit like that. Only humans. That's that's gross, nasty. What the fuck? We're just gonna tear your nutsack up, I'm like make you fuck your sister. Ew, God, humans. Jesus, Christ. <laughs> God. And Zombie and I weren't even 10 years old yet. Basically, everyone was told to keep us alive until she could bear children. That's just so... It keeps getting worse. I don't want to read this now. I bit my lip in rage and frustration. That's so... So horrible. I'm assuming they're thinking, oh, because there'll be wolves, and wolves will just, like, do another one. Like, not, like, human beings have rational thoughts, and he'd be like, fuck that shit, I'm not doing my sister. Gross. You know what I mean? But like, oh, they'll turn into wolves and like animals and like. The people who hated Kikonosuke's parents and the one who ordered it deserved suffering in hell. Mm hmm. They threatened us saying if we tried to disobey them that they'd kill both of us. At that point, all Azami and I could do was. to do is what we were told. Oh. Oh no. So. For better or worse, we lived through it. Oh, no! Oh! I think you should have been given a pass for thievery after being forced into this. I'm sorry. But there's really... I'm sorry, you're trying to tell me heaven exists? Any kind of goodness in the world exists? Children were forced into the... And then he goes to hell for stealing? Really? Really? No! There's no justice in the afterlife, because that seems like bullshit. I don't care how much you thieved. I don't care if you stabbed a bitch. After what you went through, I hope you stabbed the bitches who made you do this. Then I feel like it's justified, and I don't think you should be going to hell. I think you were wrongfully tortured. Yeah, you were tortured in life. I don't think you should have to suffer in death, too. Jesus. Oh, I need a drink, and I need to cry. Zami eventually... You know that thing that comes once a month started with her? Okay, they were basically... Okay, they haven't... Okay, no, okay, okay, thank God. Okay, we haven't gotten to that. But the trauma is like, we, we just did what we were told, we stayed locked up, whatever. And now we're on the... You, you know, the, the girly thing? Okay, can't even say a period. Oh, dear God. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. So for a brief second, I had a moment like, and eventually, you, you know that thing with the girls, and you give them chocolate, and you're like, oh, okay, she got her period. Oh no. For a brief second, I was like, oh good, they didn't force them to have sex with each other. They wanted to, but they never had to because she wasn't, oh god, breedable yet. Ugh, gross. Ugh. I want to vomit. And so for a brief moment, I was like, oh, thank God, I was wrong. They didn't, he didn't actually, wasn't actually forced, oh. But now, now I, but I don't have faith that we're not gonna, oh God, please tell me you mauled, them. well, you went to hell for thievery, you didn't murder anyone, so. Oh God. Oh. We were, we were okay up to this point, but, oh God. And of course, that's not happening between siblings. So we try and run away, right? Oh, thank God. He's like, uh-uh. After we escaped, we were chased down. The zombie was shot in front of my own eyes and couldn't move anymore. Oh. I never forgot the haunting sound of that rifle. So why the hell? Okay. Yeah. Uh, why was she condemned to hell? What did she possibly do 
as a young girl, okay, they were they must have been twins, I'm assuming, because he said we were we weren't even ten years old. Like whatever. So for years they were locked up until she was like ready to bear children, and then they were like, cool, now we can make them fuck each other. That's disgusting. What could she have possibly fucking done to condemn her to hell? Aside from running away and escaping. I'm pretty sure that should not... Like, you know what I mean? Why? He ran away and started stealing shit. Okay, fine. She did nothing. Like, you know what I mean? I never forgot the haunting sound of that rifle. And after that... I managed to escape, but Ikenosuke hung his head down. I wonder if she's bitter and resentful because she got shot and he left her. Maybe she did. Well, no, she had to have died because she's like in middle school or whatever. She's not as old as he is. She definitely died years before him. Zami really never did anything wrong. She was hurt so much by humans. She really was. She really, really didn't do anything wrong. I'm with you. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck she could have possibly done. Unless in her dying... Like, while she was dying, she stabbed someone, but... That's why I believe she would definitely go to the Heavenly Realm. Then, in exchange for how much she suffered when she was alive, she'd be able to eat good food, wear pretty clothes, and just live in peace. And that's what they're playing. They're, they're preying on all of this. Like, all the trauma she went through. That's what I believed. I didn't even try looking for her in hell, since I never believed she'd be sent there. And yet... Uh -huh. Oh, and maybe she's, like, mad, because she's like, you never even tried to find me in hell. And he's like, why would you be there? We were ten, we were locked up, we tried to escape, you died, you, there's no... I'm with him, there's no logical reason for her to have ever been in hell. <laughs> Sorry. It's so weak for me to cry. I'm gonna go wash my face. I wanna cry for him, the poor thing. What dare you, game? Aw. For both of them. Jesus Christ. And this is... Well, okay, this is the least spoilery, but I can't even imagine how much more traumatic it's gonna get. Jesus. Hmm. I wondered what their past might have been, but that's pretty horrible. Koimon's like, I've done everything in every hell to get me sent to the worst one, and even I wouldn't cross that line. Jesus. I'm just saying, the trashiest of the trash is over here thinking that the people that locked up Ikonosuke and his sister are worse than him. He's like, that's... There are lines, motherfucker. I will stab a bitch, but Jesus. I'm just saying said it enough, but, like, I can't get over this. Good lord. Well, it's nice being able to die for being forced to do it with your own sibling. It's nice being able to die. Oh, before. It's nice being able to die before being forced to do it with your own sibling. Sharku! Well, it's true. Can you really say you'd be happy to be alive if that happened to you? Sorry. I had seen all sorts of evil in hell. I was told so many times in Hell Guardian School that we must never pity the prisoners. Take it easy. Our Lord Hell Guardian hates men and stories like that make even me sick. See? He's like, even I am disgusted. <laughs> right. I felt sick. And at the same time, I felt so frustrated and pathetic. Huh. But then, why did she get sent to Hell? Where is she assigned to anyway? About that. Oh, so you've already looked into her, Taro. And just the other day. But just the public data. Boyman started typing on a computer. Azami Uga, anger. Alicia. What's Alicia? My gifted makeup girl. From the scorching hell. That girl's in the burning hell? That means her sentence is heavier than mine and her brother's. The burning hell. But how? The revival hell, the lightest of all, is for those who defile life, killing others in war. Okay. I 
Okay, killing others in war. I was like, the revival hell is the lightest of all for those who defile life killing others. Excuse me? In war. Okay. Because it's like, you murdered someone, but most of the time you didn't just go out there gleefully being like, woohoo, legal murder! You know what I mean? No, war is not a good thing, and sometimes you're forced into it. Like, you're drafted, you know what I mean? Like, you have to, and then what are your options? And then, like, but it's still murder, you know what I mean? I don't really think you should go to hell for that, because it's kind of like, you didn't really have a choice. What were you supposed to do, let them murder you? Like, that's kind of fucking, and then, then you'd be, like, in hell for, like, you didn't have any appreciation for the sanctity of your own life. What the fuck? You basically committed suicide. What the fuck? Like, you can't win here. But, you know. Next is the black rope hell for those who commit thievery, which is what, which is why Kikonosuke's there. And next is my beloved crushing hell, a place for those who indulged in acts of, in acts of promiscuity. Next is the screaming hell for incidents related to drinking. Then there's the great screaming hell for lying. The burning hell even below, is even below that. I like that for drinking. So if you've ever had a drink in your life, you're going to hell. <laughs> I know it's like they're just paraphrasing here, but it's like a little concerning. Also, I know, again, killing someone in war, you're stealing, but you got drunk, so you're going to hell. And it's, well, what? I, the hierarchy is really stupid here. Have we mentioned that? Because it is. But considering Kikonosuke's story, I don't see what could have gotten her into, gotten her to a sentence. There actually have been a lot of young people who were sent to the burning hell. Yeah, but she was locked with him, locked up with him, so... Why is that? Do you mean for stuff mocking the Buddha? I see. I remember hearing something like that. Sensei Nono also mentioned that there are more young people who mock religion these days than there were in the past. Well, I mean, I could see her mocking religion because if she's thinking, like... After what's was coming to them if they didn't escape. Yeah, I could see not believing in God and being like, fuck your God! It, because why Why in her situation, if you were a child that was locked up and told, as soon as you're ready to be bred, we're gonna have your brother fuck you and impregnate you. It's gonna be awesome. It's like you're fucking, like your dogs. Because you're both wolves. Gross. And you'd really be like, oh, God. You'd be like, fuck your God. You know what I mean? I can absolutely understand that because, like, Jesus. Also, kind of like, fuck your God in this game that's like a child is going to be tortured like this. And yet, so he steals some shit and he's, he's going to go to hell for that. But, like, no fucks given for the trauma he went through in life. Like... I'm not saying you should go steal shit, but I'm just saying there are times where you're like, I can understand it. You're starving to death and your only option is to like, I'm sorry, Aladdin was starving to death. So he stole a loaf of bread and then gave it to the starving kid. So he's got to go to hell for that. Like, fuck that shit. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's justification sometimes, you know, but no, everybody goes to hell. So I thought so too. Young people these days aren't religious enough. I mean... Not really getting them anything. Because again, most religion is built on... Hey, pay us money and you'll go... And we know that that's not true. They told us that. So, like, whatever. <laughs> well, listen to you. You sound like an old woman. You're supposed to be a young person too, after all. Yeah, but God knows how long I've been dead. Huh? I felt embarrassed after being called out. You're old-fashioned because you're always around the Great King and Takamura. I, I don't think that's true. She also doesn't have any... Well, I mean, the only personality she has, that makes it sound like she doesn't have one, is, like, just what she's built up over however long she's been in hell. She doesn't have a sense of who she ever was, so she's only built herself up from, like, the moment she died to now, so it's a very short period of time compared, probably. Well... You know what I mean? And you don't have the life experience. Like, who she was when she was alive is totally different because even though maybe she's been a dead for 400 years, like, or longer, you know, she's her experience is just that tiny little bubble of hell. 
as opposed to, you know, your life where you've experienced other different things. You meet different people. Like, what's your experience in hell? Everyone here is awful. We torture them. And your main influences are literally just King Enma and... No, no. So, what else you got? You know what I mean? Understandable. No. What do we do now? He goes in charge of his sister, right? I want to go for a Simon. Same. I'll find him with bullet holes. I'll fill him with bullet holes this time. I understand how you feel, Yona, but maybe you should draw straws for it and have the loser watch over Okuni and Sanzaburo. So, should I watch over Jack, then? That would generally be fine, but tomorrow I might want to ask for your protection. Protection? Sure. Where? I have to figure that out first. I'll talk to you about it again tomorrow. Okay, see you in the morning. Thanks so much for today, Tama. Does the reason why you seem so down have to do with that young girl, Azami Chief? Meow. Well, that's definitely part of it. Hey, Tama, give me your honest opinion. Meow, meow. Something else on your mind. Do I seem old? What? Ah! I told him about the conversation we had earlier. I don't believe you seem old in particular, but you're here in the human realm now. How about you spread your wings a bit more, meow? Spread my wings? Yeah, like going to the theme parks. That's just where you want to go, Tama. Like eating delicious foods or going to buy new clothes? I cannot condone frivolous spending like that. Come on, it's not frivolous, meow. It's an investment. Investment? You mean to do something for future gain? Just how are clothes an investment? You'll understand how humans feel. I'm sure your learning as a hell guardian will go greatly as well from that. I'm not entirely convinced, but I suppose I'll keep that in mind. No, you always take things so seriously when it comes to things like this, Chief. Meow. Mama, I'm getting a phone call. You'll have to be quiet for a second. Hey, if it's Lady Ushichi, let me talk to her, meow. No, oh, it's a human. Shin? The only one that knew it would be. Or Jack. Meow. Here, eat up. I got Bonito for you today. Meow. There are so many meowful flavors. All of them look great. I never know what to get. Meow. You want me to eat them too? Well, we might be able to have a conversation, but my body's still human for the most part. You can eat it all. Meow. Bird, stop. <laughs> I'm happy you're getting along with me, but that just makes it even harder for me to go back to hell. Uh, no, no. I'm never going back. Meow. I won't just vanish and leave you. Take your time and eat. Meow, meow. Huh? Why am I not eating with other humans? It's fine, I hate humans. It's kind of cute that the cats love her, despite the fact that she's a dog. <sighs> ah, finally, that call is over. Everything's in place for tomorrow now, okay. I just need Goemon to endure through it. Oh, someone bought some new cereal? Well, I shouldn't be surprised. There are five of us here. Don't buy my headset. I reached to get a salad bowl out, and then... Sorry I ran away earlier. Bert, stop it. Huh? Look out! Ikonosuke quickly caught the bowl I dropped. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It's okay. I was a little lost in thought. Thanks for catching the bowl. I just came up to get something to eat and found you here instead. Uh, really? Want some cereal, Kikonosuke? Huh? I I'm fine. I'm not a little kid. I wasn't calling you one. It's not going to be much more effort pouring another bowl. Well, but... We're all roommates. It's not a stretch for me to do something like this, right? Are you sure? Then I'll pour the milk. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bird, you can't shove your face in my face like that. I can't read. And especially because then every time I move my mouth, your feathers and your face tickle my mouth. I love you too, but you can't shove yourself in my face. I'm sorry. He's being very fidgety and kind of annoying right now. He's bugging me. <laughs> I love you. You're such a 
pain in the ass. Let's eat. Huh? You don't want to sit at the sofa? This is basically just a drink. Hmm. It would make it seem like I don't care to be around them if I went out on my own. Okay, I'll eat here too then. Oh. You know, this start stared... Yeah, stared still at me as he held his bowl. That's... You really... Really sure you're just gonna stand here and eat? You? I'm asking that makes me want to stay here even more. I am. Is that a problem? N no. That's fine. I guess. He replied nervously for some reason. and quickly shoveled and shoved his spoon into his mouth. Okay, let's eat. I couldn't help but think these weren't polite manners for eating. But it felt strangely fun to stand in the kitchen in the middle of the night to eat. This is pretty good because it isn't too sweet. There's a bunch of dried fruits in here too. I agree. I wouldn't mind getting this one again. Guess I can buy two bags of them to stash here. I'll pay for one of them. Okay, let's do that. He can ask I finish what he considered a drink in no time at all. I'm gonna have another bowl. I love how you can hear the pouring of cereal into bowls. As he was shoveling his second bowl of cereal into his mouth, he suddenly turned to me. Hey, doesn't it feel nice to eat like this? Huh? It just feels... kind of nice. I feel the same way is definitely the right answer. I'm sorry. What do you mean it feels nice? It's like, I feel the same way. She was just literally thinking that. Plus, what do you mean? Is like... Like a brush-off answer was like, yeah. Like agreeing with you. I feel the same way. Happy! That's what the stamp says. I thought it said that, but I couldn't tell the last time. Yeah, it feels kind of nice to me, too. It does, doesn't it? It just does. It really was just a feeling. Although I didn't have the slightest reason in particular as to why. Oh, are you done eating? I can wash the bowls. No, it's okay. I can wash mine. You poured the cereal. And you poured the milk, Kikonosuke. Okay, let's rock, paper, scissors for it. Loser washes the bowls. Fine by me. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors! Alright, I lost! He's so excited about it. What? Why are you so happy you lost? Huh? Uh... It's fine. I wanted to wash some dishes. Just get back to your room. Like, he's all blushing. He's like, yeah, I lost. I can wash the dishes and be nice. He's so funny. Huh? Um... Ikonosuke pushes me away from behind. Good night, leader! He's like, mad at me now, but blushing. He's mad because he's blushing. I was chased out of the dining area. That's right. Azami. Hey, I'm sure I'll be able to convince Azami what she's doing wrong what she's doing is wrong tomorrow. I'll be sure to talk to her then. Really? Okay, let her know I said hi too. Oh, that's what I said. I don't think Azami will be convinced to come back to us just over a single day. So with that said, Kikonosuke, I'll move forward with my own plan. We gotta find out how she ended up in hell. And like, honestly, I feel like yeah, she hates humans, but she has a right to. And I feel like, like, out of everyone, like, she really should be pardoned. <laughs> like, you no, know? I can understand why Kikonosuke has got some shit wrapped around his heart and like whatever, and pretty strapped onto it. Cause like, that's some trauma, dude. It's annoying, but I have to do this. Kikonosuke won. Have bad manners late at night. Blood bond with Kikonosuke, 38%. Happy! I kind of like that, because then they show you, like, on these little title cards. I mean, you've got their shadows, obviously, and his color. But, like, I like how they put the little happy stamp so you know how good you're doing, and they tell you their your little blood bond. So, I'm like, I'm assuming the blood bond is, like, the, the percentage points. Like, you're doing good! Or, like, if you missed one of the questions or something... You'd have less of a percentage and whatnot. And then, yeah. Stage two. I don't know how many chapters there are in there. I only assumed at least seven in the thing because it says select first seven, so. Emma, dear, I'm so happy you called me so soon. I was so happy I couldn't even sleep last night. Oh, Emma, dear, sorry. I was like, who's Emma? And why is he calling her that? Emma, dear. He called me, he called Shiroku Tori Deer the other day, and now he's using Deer with me too. No, I called you out of nowhere, so I'm happy you made time to see me now. Aw. 
When she said a human, like, this did not occur to me. Oh, don't act like a stranger. I'll make time for you whenever you want, Enma. It's nice to meet you, Lord Akari. My name's Ishikawa, and I work as my lady's secretary. Ishikawa, dear, great to meet you. So handsome. I totally thought you were her boyfriend. Oh, no, I'm not in any place to be that. Ishikawa, dear? But I have to say I'm impressed, Goemon. You're able to stay completely calm without changing your attitude at all. Just as I'd hoped. You're like, you need to act bubbly and cute like my secretary and don't kick this guy in the nuts no matter how desperately you want to. So, Ikari, I wanted to continue our chat from yesterday about Azami. Just between us, her brother's really worried about her being in the entertainment industry. So I wanted to talk it... You know, she told me that if anyone reached out to me claiming to be her brother to ignore it because he's just a stalker. A stalker? She's already made the first move. She's tough. It's a complicated situation, but she definitely has an older brother. I'm worried, too. She's in junior high, right? To have her in entertainment at that age... Well, nowadays we have more junior models than we know what to do with. Never mind that, Emma dear. Let's talk business. Oh, don't we have a really bad end with a minor... Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Attempts of suicide... Attempted assault of a minor only in one bad end. Side characters obsessing over a minor. I'm just saying, the only minor we've met so far is Shin. Our little dweeb buddy. And Azami. And, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh... Oh, no. And then, oh, oh, okay. All right, um, oh. <sighs> I don't trust this now. Ikari, so I heard you're Jack's manager. Oh, you sure are, Sharpie Shigawa. Did you watch, do you watch his streams? Are you sure you'd be able to handle working for my lady on top of a zombie and Jack? Jack told me himself that he can be left alone for the most part. Really? Is that why he has so much free time? And that doesn't sound very responsible. But Jack really doesn't need to be managed much, and he doesn't mess with girls or get himself involved in anything that might be trouble. He is involved, though, with the pardoning app. <laughs> oh, you're so serious, Enma. No one believes in that. We're like, huh, you're shady, creepy, but you do have glasses, and people do believe in it, unfortunately. I'm not sure if that makes you really smart or really stupid. For being like, people aren't that dumb. You're like, well, they are. <laughs> That's practically a game. Everyone's having fun with it now, but it'll be old, it'll be old hat very soon. That's how fads work, right? This guy knows how to grind my gears. <laughs> So let's get back to you, Enma. First off, what are your measurements? Oh, now he's winking at me. Okay, like, he is door. Like, okay. I think he's more trash than our boyfriends. But, like, it's just a shame because they put glasses on him. And, like, aside from every, aside from his whole personality, like, you made him adorable. Look at his little floopy hair. But, like, you made him just a little creepy. You know... Doing a good job making everybody slightly creepy. Calm down. Stay calm, Spacey. I have to try and get as much information about Azami as I can. And if we get closer to him, we could even find out about Jack, too. Oh, right. I should ask this first, too. There's a lot of compliance we have to go through with our clients. Enma, you're a virgin. Before I could take out my whip... Go to hell. Because going on knows I ain't. Yeah. Oh, please. Hey, that was our chance to get intel. My ears were about to start rotting. I thought you'd be able to deal with it, Goemon. Why'd you ask me to come with you? If I brought Yona or Sharku, they'd get upset after a single word out of that guy's mouth, and it would have been a bloodbath right after. I'm no saint either. Yeah, but you're a hell of a lot calmer than them. 
Well, it would have been dangerous if I went alone, and Kikonosuke is involved with a zombie, so I imagine he'd just attack him. I can see how gutsy you're being, but you should leave guys like that to Sharaku. He can handle himself okay in conversations like that. But I'm the one being scouted. He's like, are you a virgin? And he's like, Goemon got pissed because he's like, don't touch my woman. We know he loves us. He just is not allowed to tell us about the past that he knows we had together. In any case, no. Absolutely not. Never get near that bastard again. Now you're going to be the overprotective one. Even though we have no idea that we have a relationship with you. This is interesting. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm not mad about it. We're going to see how this goes. I don't understand. I want to do something. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand, but I want to do something. Like, he's like, never get near him again. I don't understand. What is your problem? Valid. 100%. But I feel like I want to do something. Like, I want to do something. We need to help Kikonosuke. You know what I mean? So I feel like for Kikonosuke, the right answer is I want to do something. Yes. Happy! I love the little stamp of approval. I think you can turn that on and off. I think there is, like, an approval thing or whatever. But obviously, like, default it's on, and I like it being on. I like knowing how we're doing. Well, I want to do what I can. Then find something else. Pouting isn't going to accomplish anything. By the way, earlier... Icardi said he was Jack's manager too, right? Yeah, I guess it's true. He's been on streams and it's on the internet too. Although it wasn't that uncommon of a name, which is why I asked about it. Who could have imagined he was the manager of two people connected to Shinobikni? Connected to, wow. I'm sure there's something going on. Huh. The corporate slave said so in the beginning. Shinobikni's got a lot of connections. That guy Ikari is definitely a normal guy, but entertainment and government are pretty closely connected. They just seem separated. Is that how it is? I mean, just look at Jack. He's essentially the spokesperson for Shinobikni's app. People in politics decorate themselves in pretty things to look good, so people don't try and go looking for dirt on them later. Now that you mention it, I've learned about things like that in the sentences I've seen too. Not something you can just read in a book, huh? Right. People in sins and evil. I thought I had studied enough about these things that it kept me up in my sleep. But I might have felt somewhere within me that they were all just things that were part of a different world. Above all, I don't imagine Shinobikini trusts humans so easily. She must be using Ikari as a part of a pipeline for that. I'm really starting to worry about a zombie now. About that... I brought this up yesterday, but I think it'll be hard for Kiku to handle her alone. So you should work with him, my lady. It could be... that a zombie might be the most difficult to bring back with us. Though we might be able to subdue the others with brute force, I don't think we can do that with his little sister. And honestly, none of us want to have to fight a zombie either. Right. So her only option is to talk her out of what she's doing. It seems like she's taking a liking to you too, my lady, so go help Kiku. Alright, I'll do my best for the- Azami, if you don't listen to me already, I'm gonna have to drag you back by force! What did we just say we weren't gonna do? You know, obviously Kikunosuke wasn't part of the conversation. And speak of the devil, I guess. Sounds like he's in that alley over there. We're going to find them arguing and everything in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.